Dom dropping the knowledge hey. right now. Let's get it. It's like after watching Ruse Long, it's like, yo, the album's done. You know, I just got to push. Maybe I can put a little work into it. Not that it has to completely blow up. If this is like an album I'm going to do, I might as well try my hardest. And more. I think what I'm coming to is like music is a hobby for some people. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? So like the way somebody pays a couple hundred bucks to go and uh, play in the softball league or be in the bowling yeah. league or whatever is literally the same way people want to pay for studio time pay yeah, yeah. money for a music video yeah, yeah. yeah he's not he's not trying to blow up and make it no i'm not even talking about blowing up and making it i'm saying like to even get your money back like say you spend five ten grand making an album like to even recoup that five ten grand is just not gonna happen by yeah the stars aligning and you know what i mean magically that money coming back in it's your right. pocket i'd rather someone just be like hey man like this is just strictly a hobby and I don't care to play by the rules because I'm doing it for my kids and I want to leave something behind. And it's a time capsule when I was 25 and I was into rap and so I did a rap album. Like, I think that's much more healthy than like not saying that and then you get toxic and then you're all, I don't want social media, well, I don't, don't want to do this, like, I don't want to do that. I think, I think he's I'm not like, saying he's entitled, I just think he's, he's misguided like, he's like, and confused. He's, is he old? Yeah, he's like, I grew up all 90s stuff. He's like, I was around Tunnel Rats, I was around like, He's all like, so was I. I don't understand it. I haven't messed with it. The thing, the difference is, Ruslan, you are someone that always is constantly seeking to grow and learn and develop. I was like, go home tonight and just start an Instagram. And even if your first post is like, yo. I, I don't like, like Instagram. <laughs> and if, and if your first post is like, yo, I love hip hop and I love my family. Yeah. That's cool. Like, post that. Dope. Like, like, what I want you to do is just like film you just being real to like everything you just told me about how you want to leave a legacy with your kids. Yeah. About how yeah, that's a cool that. story. I said you yeah. got a cool story. Like videotape how you're uncomfortable with social media. Videotape right. how you're like just go through literally everything you told me, and then you can chop it up, and then slowly be like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna put this one song out. Okay, then I'm gonna put this video about here's why yeah. I'm doing this out. And he, I, the, the only he thing he knows it's a hobby thing. So, and that's the only thing that concerns me. A lot of people spend a lot of money on hobbies. I'm not mad at that. What I'm concerned about is when someone wants to do a hobby and then they go spend a thousand dollars pressing cds three thousand dollars on production two thousand dollars on music videos right and then and like none of that money is ever recouped and they don't ever count the cost so then when it goes from like you're not you're not just spending 500 bucks to be on a softball league or in a bowling league like you're spending five thousand dollars to put out music that no one's ever going to hear and shoot music videos for stuff that you don't even want to have a plan for that's the part that concerns me just from a complete stewardship standpoint i think people all have this like cinderella narrative of their in their brain if i build it they will come you know what i'm saying <laughs> like you can build it and they don't ever come they don't ever show up you that's know? the thing i was telling them so, like, yo, like even if you're not trying to make it big like there's still got to be build up like there's still got to be something. something yeah i feel like those people there's still room in the marketplace for someone like that to go earn their ten thousand bucks back or their five thousand bucks back, like, I, think, I really honestly, believe I think he, that. I think you could. I, I gotta figure out how to help those guys. Like I want those guys to make to at least make their money back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I gotta figure and out. And I think I think there should that. be maybe you should come up with a specific video geared towards like you have this thing in you that you really can't one hundred percent fully deny. Right. But at the same time, you know you're not going to be right here. Right. How do you make back that? Or do you just think the average person has access to a couple hundred people that buy their record? Yeah, I think it's church community would buy yeah. the record. Yeah, I would just say right there. Like, I think just get your three, four hundred people. I told him, like, yo, get your, your Instagram followers, your YouTube stuff, like, yeah. from people in your church first. Make an Instagram. Who cares if they don't follow you back right away? Don't get in your feelings about Instagram. Follow all the people within your church. Let them know you have an Instagram post once a day at least mm -hmm. get these people in your community seeing yeah because they might even see just on instagram another side of you that yep. they don't see it be posting <laughs> about like hey i love my time with my kids and my wife that's yep. post one yep. post two i love my time in front of the microphone right post three here's an old video of me when yep. i used to cipher yeah blah, blah, blah and i was telling them just be you you don't have to glitz and glam anything just just be yourself and let your community know and then that will spread on its own right. i told him like this is a trickle this is a very, very slow, small trickle. Chances are, reality is, like, it's not going to be this huge thing. Yeah. You will have people that want to hear what you have to say. Because yeah. I listen to stuff, I believe he has good content. So, you out here changing lives, bro. Consulting with... <laughs> no, no, everything I learned...